Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. Please welcome to the show, mystery artist Felix <laughs> Semper. Hello. Hi, hi. Welcome hey. to be. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Well, happy you you are here. Yes. So you 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 brought this crate into our apartment, and if you look at my Instagram now, I just put up the unbelievable piece of art he created for me for my birthday. Thanks to Alex, it's Frida Kahlo, my my favorite artist of all time. But it's in paper form, like an accordion. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's yes, amazing. She's awesome. she, she and, is, yeah. She's really one of my favorite pieces. Actually. And Felix brings these, actually, just big chunks of paper to life yeah. through his art. And you've been on with Wendy Williams. We've been yes, on. Yeah. And a lot of celebrities, have, yeah. they follow yeah, you. Yeah, they, they follow me. They bought my art. And um, and I'm very happy and very thankful for that. Uh, you know, I love, uh, love sharing my art. And I love seeing a smile every time. You know, every time I show my art... You see a big smile, and I make people happy, and that's great. You that's do. awesome. Yes. So Felix brought a lot of examples of his stuff, like these sneakers mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of other things, yeah. into our studios today. And you can go to Instagram and see those as well. The look on people's faces when you realize it's just a little shoe, and then you pull that shoe, feet into the air, and yeah. it's like an accordion. It's like a slinky. But it's like yeah, Brody it said, you can't even see like the the lines where you would pull the slinky. Like it just looks like a damn shoe. It looks like a solid, like a rock almost, yeah. like a solid piece of yeah, art. Yeah, well, and, and when it's closed, actually, it is like a rock. I mean, you can bang it and you will not break it. I mean, it becomes fragile once you open it up and once you see the layers of paper, then, then you can rip it apart if you wanted to. Mm. But once it's closed, you can beat somebody with this thing. <laughs> it's <laughs> dual right. purpose. Let's get started. So, uh, so I said, Felix, you know, we're going to be on the radio. So you have to describe what it is you do to someone who can't see. Yeah. Right. So, so explain what this is. And you can, like I said, go to at Elvis Duran on Instagram. You can see it in action. Sure. Yeah. I mean, um, basically, well, I'll tell you how it started. I used to work in a print shop and I used to work in the bag. I used to be the graphic artist. And then I used to go to the bag when I didn't have anything to do in the front and cut paper. And as I was cutting stacks of paper and I would see the shift on the movement on these papers and create forms. And that was always in the back of my mind. I said, you know, these you can definitely create, you know, some kind of image with this thing. So one day as I, you know, I was being creative and I said, you know, I want to create a sculpture, but I want something different. So I started gluing sheets of paper together solid into a block. So I created this big block of paper that it was solid like a tree. And then I started carving on it. So as I carved on this paper, um, I soon realized that. I could definitely shape it. I could make it look like stone. I could do anything I wanted, but there wasn't a wow factor because it was just a solid block. So, and I wanted, so I said, you know, how do I do this? So it took me a while. It took me over a year to kind of figure out how to make it move into, uh, into the dimension that it is now. And once you open this shoe now, and you know, actually I, the way I tried it, I went to Washington square park and I had my, my, uh, bill, my, 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 uh, the, the film guy that does all my stuff. And we just stood there and then I was, kind of lay my sculpture out. It was my first uh, sculpture was a cigar guy. And I laid it on the ground and I just kind of wanted people to look at it. So people would walk by and look at the sculpture and kind of say, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, so as I started to take the cigar out of the guy and then move his head, people were just like freaking out. You yeah. just started hovering around me, you know? It's the strangest yeah. Yeah. look on people's faces when they discover what the sculpture can do. Crazy. It's yeah. a movable piece of art. Yeah. So, it's so, so great. Yeah. So, I mean, so after that, I knew that I had something unique. And, I, and so after, you know, I just started creating different things. And, and what inspires me is things that are around me on a daily basis. I do cereal boxes. I do, for example, for this show, I made the, the Cheetos and I did it with <laughs> uh, Elvis and Frida, you know, which, uh, Look at that. That's wild. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you cannot see a darn line. Right. And How you, is that possible? You really have yeah. to go look at it on my Instagram and check it out. But, yeah, so how many, like, sheets of paper yeah. are in, like, one of these? Yeah, like, for example, this one probably has 3,000 sheets of paper. Wow. wow. Like, uh, Elvis's uh, Frida has over 7,000 sheets of paper. Yeah, it's huge. Wow. Right? It's How huge and she's heavy. do these things take you to make? Like, yeah. Elvis's Frida. Yeah, How long Elvis's did that take Frida you? took me several months to create. Wow. Uh, and, and, you know, it's a, it's a labor of love. You really are there, you know, not for the instant gratification, but for the long haul. Now, look, you know what? We, we love bringing artists to you. Not only musical artists, but art artists as well, the visual arts. As you know, we brought King Saladin to you with his uh, Money Bear, and we have things going up with him. We have our friend Callan, who's coming in from uh, Canada. We're going to do some stuff with him next week. But right now, with Felix Semper here, I remind you, and this is a great conversation to have with Gandhi. She bought her first 
piece of art this weekend. Mm -hmm. And people think, oh, art. Well, I can't afford art. Well, yeah, you can. There are great ways in every city in America that have art shows and things. And you can get great stuff that you that, that speaks to you for little or no money. Right. Well, maybe a little money. Um, right. I no mean, money. like the artist fairs that you see in the park, if you just take a couple minutes to walk through, they have the coolest stuff. And they're all kind of starting and trying to, you know, spread their wings and get out there. So you can get it at a pretty good price. And I love it. And, love it. And art is something you're going to have forever. Oh, yeah. You Hopefully. put it on your wall. It inspires you. It reminds you of the day you bought it. It sure, takes yeah. you places. Your friends come in. They love it. So don't be afraid of art. Because, look, you know, you're out there making ends meet. May, maybe skip a couple of meals and go buy something from the wall. Yeah, that makes <laughs> well, me know, happy. Like, looking well, at know, it if, in my if, house. If you, look at, if you look at history, for example, when uh, in France, when the, uh, Gertrude Stein and Picasso was there, you know, Gertrude Stein would give uh, advice to other uh, people, collectors, uh, wannabe collectors, say, you know, you either buy clothes or you buy art. So, you know, she bought art, and obviously she's, you know, in history now. So, so the question is, to everyone listening, what's up on your wall right now? Like, what do you have on your wall? Man, is, there, is the stuff on your wall, is it stuff that inspires you? Is it stuff Is it stuff that brings back memories? You know, everything on your wall, your wall shouldn't be a wasted space. It, it, and if anything, you could paint your own murals on your walls. You can create your own art. You can do whatever you want. It's not a yeah. tattoo. Yeah. It's not permanent. You know, that's a good idea. Yeah. I need what, to paint a wall. Do what you want. My husband won't let me paint a big shoe on the wall, though. He's uh, why not? <laughs> he did, you know, <laughs> seriously. All right. So, what does art mean to you? Yeah, Felix. well, you know, art for me is an expression of my my feelings, of my being. You know, it's like uh, just expressing what I see around me. It's right. art. You know, it's just it's just another extension of myself. If you ask Ariana Grande the same question, she'd basically say those same words. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what artists are all about. Yeah, I mean, that's a, you you express your feelings, you express your emotions. And I get a lot of people that when I had my, my last show uh, last year in New York, I had people that came in and, and would walk around my gallery and we just, at the end, they're almost crying. They're like, with with happiness because it, it just it just blows them away. You know? Yeah, there's so much so much to learn from yeah. uh, art, and you learn stuff about yourself as you're attracted to different pieces of art you thought you'd never be attracted yeah. to. So anyway, Felix, thank you so much for coming in here. I'm very happy. Yeah. Uh, at Felix Semper on Instagram, or you can see some of our movable movable art on my Instagram right now, and just link over and uh, and follow him. We love a good slinky. Yes. <laughs> what do you call a slinky or an accordion? What do you you call can it? call it a slinky art. You can call it a stretchable paper art. Uh, oh, stretchable paper yeah, art. Yeah, stretchable paper, flexible paper. You know, it's, it's all kinds of stuff. It's great having you. Thank you, Felix. Yeah, have Thank a you very much.